Time for the Dark Ride here at Universal's Islands Adventure. We, for the first time riders here, Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. Of course, this is the office inside the ride, so Liberty Island. a lovely attraction this is. Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. This is a similar concept to Transformers, which is located next door at Universal Studios. There's the ride car itself. Similar to the Transformers attraction. Yeah. President right there, of course this is a 3D animated ride. Right there. So this is where we have to pick up our 3D glasses. Islands Adventure. Now, two Lagoon is made up of two rides, which are water ones. This one, which is the log flume, called Dudley Do Right, rips all fours. And then there's the rapids, Popeye's Blue Toe. So there's the sign, two Lagoon, a nice water fountain right there. Nice little area to play. So anyway, this is two, this is Popeye's Blue Toe build Rat barge, bodies. This is the water rapids here at Universal's Islands of Adventure. And there's the lines. Of course, got good mega wave action on there. So that is Popeye's Luto build rat barge. Good to do large rips or falls. Universal Islands Adventure! That is the log of the land of Wizarding World of Harry Potter. As you see, there's Hogwarts Castle just right there. And right here is the flight of the Hippogriff, formerly known as the Flying Unicorn. That site there used to be the former uh, Julian Dragons attraction known as Fire and Ice, which later became Dragon Challenge, which was a BM inverted coaster. And for next year, there will be a new roller coaster rise that will be coming here. So watch this space, fingers crossed. This is Hogsmeade Station at Universal's Islands Adventure, nice old station, got some lovely fans at the station. Right, we're now going up onto the platform level. So we're going up, 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 up onto the platform level now. Well, that's what we call the train at the moment. Well, Universal Studios is it now. Right, so we're on our way down to London now. Right.
this is departing Holtmate. There we are, leaving Holtmate. Just a little bit for me. Let's keep going. Mama. Mama. Oh, I want to do the Mama. Do you want to do it? I was trying to go with the flow. I don't want to do Simpsons and Black and Blue. That was just too long to yeah. do a trick for it. But you've got. What do you need to? Tell me, Tim, if you're in two, that's all you've done. Why would you? You think you've got to bring that one right now, would you? Right, we're now approaching London, King's Glass at Universal Studios. Which replace the old wet and wild. Right, there's the escalators, it will take us up. There's no elevator, no, there's a lift. Yeah. There's the escalators that go up and down. Let's go up. These are cold escalators. Let's go up. First outdoor escalators that I've been seeing. Right, here we are. This is the one and only Volcano Bank.
Okay then guys, here we are on the uh, John Young Parkway here in um, Orlando and there's the car uh, dealership company. So we've just done a trip to the Universal Orlando Resort. We incorporated that footage from 2018 because we were meant to do it uh, in the flesh but obviously uh, due to short notice uh, obvious reasons. We just had to add the 2018 footage uh, on the video. So we're going towards the uh, Jong Yong Parkway Retail Park. And I'm also going to take you on a bit of a guided tour of the Retail Park as well. And uh, so here we are. We're just arriving uh, at... Um, so we're just arriving now at the um, John Young Parkway Retail Park. And uh, so day 13 uh, is two days before we have to head home. So anyway, there's a bus going. The 311, that used to be an old Walsall number. The old uh, Walsall to Dudley. And it used to continue on to Stewart Bridge. And is now known as the 11. Uh, it's operated by NXWM from the Pensnet Garage. It used to be operated by Warsaw. And Warsaw used to run the 11s as well down to uh, Merry Hill. Which is now past the 25 route. Operated by Diamond. And uh, yes. So anyway there's a school bus just on, on its way possibly to the gas station. But I don't know. And uh, this is going to be the last last ever time we'd see such brilliant sunshine weather like this because as you know in two days time we'll be saying goodbye to the sunshine as we leave orlando back to the uk flying with virgin atlantic vs 74 at 10 o'clock from orlando international airport landing back into manchester airport at uh, 10 past 11 on friday morning so it's going to be a bit of a sad time for us leaving Orlando. But we've had a fantastic time over in the Florida area. And are we going to come here again? Well, without a doubt, yes. We will be back here again. And we will bring more fun and excitement here to Orlando once again. And uh, so I'm going to be... Very happy to say that we are going to come back here uh, very soon. We don't know when that will be, but I will uh, throw in more teasers. Um, not more teasers. I'll throw in more exciting fun to show, say to you all, where are we going? And I'll have to let you know until we reach the destination where that will be. Okay then, here we are coming on to the retail park uh, on the John Young Parkway. And uh, so here's the retail park. And I really like this retail park. Uh, you've got a handful of stores here. You've got BioLife, uh, which used to be occupied by Staples, which was a stationary office uh, goods chain, if you remember them, back in the UK, which was then branded as Office Outlet. And uh, so we're just going to wait there a moment. And uh, just about. So you've got uh, a couple of cars that are just waiting to pass us. And uh, so here we are just waiting to pass certain cars. And uh, then we'll proceed. And here's a lovely Mini Cooper. Yes, you can get Mini Coopers here in Orlando. Alongside these type of vehicles. Uh, so here are all the following shops that are around here. And uh, so you've got McSmoking. Haha. McSmoking taking the Michael out of McDonald's. And uh, you also got a handful of other different names here. Uh, you even got Domino's. Ah, taking the Mick out of Domino's pizzas and also there's uh, a few restaurants around here and um, so here we go we're on our way 
towards uh, Walmart and you got PetSmart here, which is a bit like uh, Pets at Home and the 2x2 Pet Shop uh, back in the UK. And uh, so you got PetSmart there and uh, just further next door to it, uh, you've got coming up here on the uh, right hand side, the restaurant shop which actually sells supplies for, like, restaurants. It's a little bit of a similar version to the likes of Macro, uh, which is, like, uh, the Dutch wholesales chain. And, obviously, there's a Macro over in Alzo Inn. Uh, I've been in Macro multiple times. Uh, so, anyway, we're just heading down towards Walmart because there's actually a Walmart here. On this retail park. Anyway. Here are more of our shops. And of course you've got Dollar Tree. Uh, which is a bit like. Uh, Poundland. Um, so you've got Dollar Tree. And also you've got. A couple of other stores. And Walmart. Is just right in front of us. And it has McDonald's as its food tenant. And. Uh, this was actually my first Walmart. I've been in. Here in Florida, with the second being down at um, the Polynesian at Lake Buena Vista. And also been to the Walmart uh, on the 192 at Kissimmee and also on Turkey Lake Road. Okay, here is the escalator at Sears at the Florida Mall in Orlando, Florida. And this is a Montgomery escalator. And yes, this escalator's working. The up escalator's finally been fixed. The down escalator, unfortunately, is still broken. But it's nice to see this up escalator's finally been fixed. And uh, there's not much left up here now. It feels like dead. Yeah, so here we are on the top floor. Okay then, this is the elevator at Sears at the Florida Mall in Orlando, Florida. And this is a Montgomery elevator. And there's a keyhole up there. And let's quickly get a picture of the elevator. Looks very nice. Uh, oh, and here it is. It's all wooden in here. Let's go down to one and shut the doors. Capacity, 2,500 pounds. We'll listen to the motor when we go up. We are like one. Talk, talk, talk. Now, listen to the motor. Amazing elevator this is, absolutely amazing. This is the last remaining Sears store here in 
here in Florida. Well, there's one or two of these stores left here in Florida, but this is the last one here in Orlando, because the other one, because all the other ones are like the Avedo Mall, Seminole Town Center in Sanford, and the Orlando Fashion Square Mall, so let's open the doors. And also at uh, Altamonte Mall, in Altamonte Springs, so here we are. Let's watch it close. Let's watch the doors close. And uh, that's it. Okay then, this is the elevator at JCPenney at the Florida Mall in Orlando, Florida. And uh, this is a Westinghouse elevator. There's a keyhole up there. And I think that's an Epco fixture. Oh, it's here. Is that the elevator wall? Here we are. It's all like wooden in here again. It's good here as well, just like uh, Sears. Go, go to. Capacity 3,500 pounds. See if we can open the thumb. Oh, it's all secure. I think the same happens on the Sears one as well. Here we are, two. This is the second floor. A very nice department store this is. Go back down. And when I'm back in the UK, I'll be selling lifts again. Very nice. We got one. There isn't a charm on this elevator. And that's it. Uh, just wait for the doors to close. Very nice elevator up sign. Here it goes. Okay then, here are the escalators at H&M at the Florida Mall in Orlando, Florida, and these are Schindler escalators. I'm having to talk the music out in here, talk, talk, talk. There's the down escalator. And uh, this space here used to be known as Lord and Taylor. If you remember that, and Parisian as well, Gophers. Oh, unless the Gophers was in a different place. So let's go back down. Still having a talk music in here. Talk, 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 talk. So just gonna probably talk that music in. As you know, it's, um, so here we are. Okay, here we are, going down. Shinwa. There's the upper escalator. There's also a H&M uh, back in the UK. Um, at the Mary Hill Shopping Centre in Dudley, but that used to be on two floors, but now that's been downgraded to one. And uh, there's also one in Telford. The only nearest H&M I can find with Escalators now is over in the Here we are the uh, ground floor, and that's it, talk talk. Anyway, here are the Escalators at Zara at the Florida Mall here in Orlando, Florida, and these are Schindler's, but these are single file. Um, these are single file Escalators. And uh, also with H&M, with um, regards to Escalators, there are other H&Ms across the Midlands, like in Shrewsbury has an Escalator, uh, Worcester, as well, even Chelsea as well. So here we are on the top floor. There's a Norwegian lower slide. It's now Zara in the UK. Had an um, Otis next step slide. But I have a Otis Otis next step after watching on these single file slides. And uh, single file. Okay, then here are the escalators at Primark at the Florida Mall here in Orlando, Florida. And these are Schindler escalators, and the down escalator is broken. And this store here used to be Forever 21, XXI Forever. So I um, have to go down in the elevator to get down.
Okay then, this is the splash pad system here at uh, the Sheraton Vistana Resort here in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. So you've got a tipping bucket which uh, goes like that. So you've got a bucket, it tips and uh, there's another spray here. So you've got another spray here. Got a lot of these elements. These don't tend to work. And then you've got the butterfly feature. Now, if you want to turn them on, you press this button here. See, there's the, the open. This is how they turn on. So you've got the, um, the, go the squirters have come on first. So these lovely squirters. So these squirters turn on first. Then you got that one that comes on. It's like a mushroom feature. Then you got the bucket turning on. Got the bucket filling up with water. And if you've got young kids who want to come here, it's on the full section of the Sheraton Vistana Resort. So we've got the mushroom pump here. The butterfly should be turning on shortly. Those, oh, I think those two are disconnected. But if you need uh, extra power, there's the bucket. So you just press this controller here and then that starts to turn on. So there's like a control button here, so you just press that and away it goes. And here is the full, so here's the falls pool. And if you want to use the slide, obviously I'm not allowed to take my phone on the slide, but I'm just showing you how to get to the slide. So you just go up these stairs and the slide is just there. And then you've got a big, lovely water feature. So this is the view of the pool, the full pool. It's only a smaller pool. And uh, this is just giving people some information on whenever, if you want to use the section. So got the gates and there's the waterfall there. Awesome waterfall. There you got your water slider. And of course it's divided so it don't, so it becomes more resilient. So that's all the information that you need here on the Falls Pool. Let's go to 15. All right, uh, these are the elevators at uh, the Lake Buena Vista Resort Village and Spa in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. And these are Otis elevators, capacity 3,500 pounds, which is 1588 kilograms, 21 persons. Going all the way to floor 15. Woo! Floor. Nice voice. Going down. Go down to one. Going down. That's an awesome voice. Going back down. Woo! Awesome voice. First floor. And that's it. Let's go to fifteen. Okay, uh, these are the elevators in building, uh, building 5 at the Lake Buena Vista 
uh, resort village and spa like Buena Vista Florida and he, these are also OTCs capacity 3,500 pounds which is 1588 kilograms 21 persons so we're going to go up to floor 15 this one's got a single door compared to the others so I'm going to send this one down to one 15 floor. 15 floor. Let's see on the other side. Let's go down to one. So we're going back down. Just had a bit of a magnificent view. You get some good views from up here. You can even see the Disney's Contemporary Resort at the Walt Disney World Resort, which is close to the Magic Kingdom. This one's capacity, 3,000 uh, pounds, 1361 kilograms, 18 persons. And if I to number four, wow. El awesome elevators, these are Otis. So I'm gonna send this one up to two. Oh. Here we are, one. That's it. Don't worry, I'm just admiring your costume. <laughs> hey, you over there. Yeah, you. I'm giving out some candy. I thought this would be a great way to make some friends. So come a little closer and try to take some. What do you say? <laughs> uh. I'm harmless, mostly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 